he wasn't willing to let go. Yeah. Yeah. So he always tell me that he will go and die, he will go and die. But I didn't expect this to become real. It was the greatest mistake I think I made in my life. And I thought that he will not die. But when I went to the hospital, he was already announced dead. I have personally witnessed what the power of love can do. It brings joy, gives hope, and creates memories that one would look back with an enduring smile. While not everybody succeeds for the first time, every woman deserves the chance to love and love again. At 32, Shirley is a young mother of five children to four different fathers. The story of her love life was far from sunshine and roses, but she had learned to embrace them and had since transformed into an inspiring individual that she is today. Hello everyone, welcome to the WOW series. Today we are going to have a beautiful lady as our guest interviewee. And she was once a model. So the thing is, when you look at her, you say, Oh, she's really beautiful. But what you wouldn't know would be, she's actually a mother of five. So hi, Shirley. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, relax a little. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. So um, now, this is Shirley and uh, a mother of five. Can't tell uh, really. <laughs> and how old are you, Shirley? 32 this year. 32 this year. Actually, Shirley had... Uh, she has five kids, but uh, with four different fathers. Yeah. Mm. You had your first mm. child, and uh, that's why you drop out of school and get married. Yeah. With your first husband. Yeah. Yes. It wasn't an accident pregnancy. It was a planned one, okay? I hope my mother not looking <laughs> at it now, okay? How old were you then? Or how young were you then? 16 turning 17. Ah, 16. So you had your first child at about 16, 17, 17 years old. Yeah. So for those who didn't know, um, Shirley dropped out of school at secondary two. Okay. Yeah, then that one year I was just having fun, doing nothing until my father came out from prison. And then he said, You must go back to school. Then I was very scared of my father one. Ah. So I go back to this Geylang Sarai like vocational school. Lah. Mm. I go there, I was like, wow, Tientai ah. The student there has slower learning abilities. Ability. Yeah. yeah, then for me, so I go there, like wow. The top student <laughs> over there. Yeah. Does it feel good or not? Very good. Like, wow, suddenly you become like, wow, Xue Pa, like, you know, like everybody <laughs> asks me questions. Like, you huh? so easy one ah. But then I went there, supposed to finish two years. Yeah. One year only. I because you are. My first. Okay, I thought because you are so good. Uh, you, you can cut from two years to one year. No, no, no. <laughs> because I was pregnant, I was so afraid of my father. Ah. He's very strict kind of dad, you know? Okay. Like, I don't dare to say anything when he say no or what. So I was very stressed at that time. I always like to go out. I want to hang out with my friend. Mm. But he always give me timing like, 8 o'clock, yeah. 8 o'clock you must come back. Then if you late 5 10 minutes, ah, I tell you, oh. you can be very, very jealous. And quite stressful. Ah. So I, I offer this plan to my boyfriend. I don't get pregnant lah. Then oh, I can every day stay with you. Then we can move out to your place. Lah. So I have my own freedom. I have my own freedom. Then you know you come my my house, then you see my dad, you're also very stressed. So you use marriage as a way to probably. Yeah, I wanted be out to have of. more freedom. Mm. And with the first husband, you have two I two sons. And then uh, after I get married, I realized actually oh, when you have freedom. But you don't have the financial, uh. you also cannot go out. Because you go out, if you want to go back at midnight, you want to go out for a drink, you need money also. And how old was your boyfriend or maybe husband then, your first husband? 21. 21. So both of you probably are still very young yeah. and he had a job. No. Oh, he also didn't have a job. But after married, he went to find a job. La. He went okay. to 2000 to work. But at least, I must say, he's still a responsible father mm. and a responsible husband. So at the point of time, were you working or you were stay-at-home mom? I was a manicurist. Ah, yeah, right. I can do manicure, pedicure, okay. pet shop. So you were employed and uh, with two income, it should be alright, barely can survive? 
in Singapore, I think my spending power very high, higher than what I earn. My spending power is really those type you cannot imagine one. Alright. Ridiculously high. But if you don't have the money, how do you spend? I, I once remember uh, my mother bought me the, you know Chinese when we get married, we have yes. this... Uh, dowry. Yeah, yeah. The dowry, yeah. Those jewellery. So got go, yeah. You know, I went to pawn it. Oh, and then okay. I go new, new her skin to do facial. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so, it's like, you won't think of how precious this gift is to you at that moment. Mm. You just think of what you want. Okay. So maybe after giving birth, I feel like yeah, my skin is very bad. Okay. We took up some loan and then we, we have difficulty in paying the loan, everything, milk powder and all. So every month is you know very, very tired lah. until the yes. month end, your salary come in, you have to pay off the loan first. Everything. Yeah. Then you barely left with anything. So it was actually very bad financial planning during that time. Ah. Mm. Yeah. How was your relationship then with your first husband with such uh, a financial situation? Initially, it was, was quite okay until when I turned 18, I can go to club already, lah. I can go to Chong already. <laughs> But I didn't have the financial, so I joined like friends to go out with other other guy friends okay. to drink. And they were kind of like pay for you. Yeah, so yes. I always hang out with this friend and then after that... So whenever I go back, right. I'm always full of complaint. I will say like, yeah, you don't have money to bring me out. Then why you want to stop me from going out, you know? Like, you have fun already. You are older than me, six years old. So you have fun already. But I'm at the age of like 18. I just start to go and chong leh. You know, so... We, our relationship turns to become very sour, very mm. every day also got argument. I, I, I say I want a divorce lah. I okay. say I don't want marriage anymore. I say it's very tired. So you now want another form of freedom. Yeah, but I didn't yes. think so much for the kids and, mm. and all lah. So then when I get out of the house ready, he, wa he wasn't willing to let go. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so he always tell me that um, he will go and die, he will go and die. But I didn't expect this to become real. I said, he really committed yeah. suicide? Yeah, so like one, one day when I, I was working, right, then I suddenly received a call from him. But mm. then I didn't pick up because I was busy, so yeah. I thought I'd call him back later. But the next moment when I called him back, nobody answered the phone anymore. Then after that, my, my mom called me and said that uh, they received a call. La, to, he's at the hospital, so mm. he actually jumped down. Oh. It was, it was the greatest mistake I think I made in my life. And I thought that he will not die. But when I went to the hospital, he was already announced dead. Yeah. But I feel very sorry for the parent. Mm. Their yeah. only son? Yeah, oh no. They have three sons. Yeah, three sons. And then the, my husband was the youngest. Mm. Mm. So, at, at that period of time, I was, I think, the darkest period in my life. I don't, I can't face anybody, even during at the funeral. A lot of friends, relatives come, they come with, like, you know, the kind of... The blame. Yeah, the blame, and I feel very guilty. I dare not even look at people. So, it, it was very tough, like, during that few days in the funeral, and even have people coming up and slap me, you know. But my father protected me. Like, even though he, he was very angry with what I do also, he still protected me. Yeah, out of love as a dad. He still yeah. tell people that this is my daughter. And no matter what she do, mm. I, I, can, I can teach her a lesson, but not yeah. anybody else. Yes. So then after, after that, I continue to work, I continue to go into uh, work and then I try to find like the highest income job that I can. Mm. I thought that money can, you know, me poo. Yeah, you can compensate for, for the, the loss. loss of the sun. Mm. So I work in a in a night job mm. as a model, you know, you just have to stand mm. on the stage and then people will give you like flower mm. to sell lady drink. You know. It was very tiring but I have a lot of money. So mm. every month I can give the parent and support your so two, that, two yeah, sons so as I, well. I feel better, you know. And how were your sons during that time? 
one when my husband passed away, they were only one one years and below, two years and below. Oh, so they didn't know anything uh, at that point mm. of time. Yeah. yeah. Do uh, did they know anything right now? Do they yes. know about the story? I was very honest with what I do mm. because I know that one day they will grow up yeah. and they will know. I I don't want to hide. Yeah. Yeah. But I explained like I said, everybody make a mistake. Although it's a very very grave mistake. Yeah. But I still at least I still love you. Mm. You know I still work hard to give you a better life. So I always hope that they can understand me and forgive me lah. So how are your two sons now? They live with their grandparents yes. instead of you. It was very good lah. I mean, the the grandparents really did a good job in bringing them ah. up, teaching them the right thing and all. They have a very healthy relationship with me now. So basically, uh, most of the weekend they will come over my house to stay, and then we will have, you know go out together or what. Two years, I went into my second marriage mm. very fast because I thought that like a widow with two yeah, with two, two kids, sons. it's not easy to find another man. So I thought that hey, I have this boyfriend, quite honest, everything okay. Then I decided to marry him lah. But then I realized we don't really have a lot of love ah. Mm. Or you know, in every marriage, we want love. We basically don't care about each other. You know, I still go back to nightlife to work. And then uh, from a cashier, uh, he went into property industry. So he said that he can earn more. Then I don't need to work in the night night job lah. But then it didn't turn out that way lah. It was quite lazy lah. Okay, he every day at home watch anime all that. So I feel that he's not a very hardworking man, and I cannot give up my job. Mm. He said he don't like. I say you don't like me to work in the night job, but you know I have two sons to support. I need yeah. to give my ex in law money. So if you don't have any income and then I stop this job, then how are we going to survive? I say you work hard first, law. Then before you come and ask, request me to do something. So in the end, our relationship also turned very sour. He went to sleep with the mom. I sleep alone in my room. Like for the past few months, I've been paying almost everything. I'm I very tired. When my daughter was eight months old, I was very scared initially lah. So I, I wait until eight months time, then I bring out. I say, hey, why not we divorce lah? I'm worried that it will turn out like the first marriage uh, because okay. of money. Then somebody, you know, they cannot. They later they going to commit something. Mm. Wow, well, he very cool eh. He said okay lor. <laughs> so I think. Mm, this one should be okay lah. Maybe he won't feel that heartbreak or what. And then we just go on our separate ways. Mm. And I just move out of the house lor. Okay. So there comes your third uh, yeah. relationship. So I, I found this man, um, not very good looking, a bit zhong liang ji, got weight one lah. Yeah. So my mother was like, <gasps> your taste like from bad to worse leh. Then I say, yeah, but it's okay. The look is not the most important thing. The most True. important thing is it must be more mature and then financially stable. He is also a businessman, and then quite nice to me initially. Yeah, become the after that, well, cheated on me most of the time, break up with me most of the time, and then after that, asked me to patch with him back after he got another girlfriend. Like, wow, very very sad lah. But I try to. Sorry, I thought this was life. If you want a financially stable life, I thought that it's like that. You have to tolerate with all this nonsense. So I kind of like, okay, I forgive you. Then we patch together, patch until I when I get pregnant, like three years later. So we were planning for marriage. Then he suddenly told me that I cannot accept your kids. You want us to get married? Then you have to cut off all ties with them. So I say, how how could I? Because. My son, father already passed away. Then my daughter, father already run road. Okay, I think go overseas also don't know do what lah. Yeah. Never come back. So they only have their grandparents. So if I were to ditch them, then they're very poor thing like they don't have parent leh. So I say no. I can give up everything else that you requested, but I say this one you have to give in lah. But he he didn't like give in lah. So we end up we didn't marry long. Okay, so but I was already pregnant. He asked me to abort, but as a mother, you already give birth to a baby before. You see how life come out, and then you wouldn't want to abort it. So I say never mind. Since we already have three, ah yeah, four doesn't matter lah. So to my next husband is three or four is just a digit away. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, don't care lah. Just give birth first, then say lah. So when I decided to give birth to this baby, right, my mother also supported me lah. Although she read 
upset lah, like wah, one time, two time, three times. So she was very upset, but she say, never mind, we don't need a man. I will support you. So she gave me her full support. Yeah, I was really very touched. Wow, that that one year was also the second darkest period because I cannot work. I was pregnant. I cannot work in night job. I don't have any income. My mother is is a very straightforward person. She can be very supportive, very kind. But when sometimes she also have a mood lah. We we are all human. So maybe sometimes she mood bad lah. She will say things like um, you see lah, huh? See men open leg, see men open leg. Then you meet until your, your life. So sometimes I cannot take it because pregnancy you also have a lot yeah. of emotion. So I was very 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 upset. Then I move out from my mother house. So there comes after the third one, your current one. How many years already? This fourth one. Five. Five years. Is Five it the, years. the longest of all the? Mm. He accepts all your children. Yeah. Yeah, starting, I remember when I know him, I say, you really want to be together with me? Ah? You know right, I told you I got four kids. Leh. He say, yeah, but like only got the youngest one staying with you. Lah. So, never think so far yet. Lah. Maybe starting together, still quite relaxed. Then after that, uh, this one was accident pregnancy already. Yeah, mm. right, accident. So, then I say, oh, I didn't have to get married already. Lah. Then he say, okay. Lor. Quite okay. Lah. He didn't think so much. Leh, because maybe he got baby already. He just want to be responsible. Mm. So now, what is the criteria of selecting your fourth? No criteria. <laughs> <laughs> Buy one free for offer promotion. <laughs> no. Okay, so mainly is someone who is very sincere. I I don't believe in anything like hey, uh, you can share my burden with me, you can take care of my children. But as long as you don't stop me from you know taking care of my children, and I I say everything first if you can accept. In future, if we have our own house, I will want to bring back all my children to stay with me. Are you okay with that? Okay. Then he also say, okay. In future, also my parents must stay with me. You okay? So I was thinking, yeah, someone who is very failure can lah, can lah, okay lah, stay together lor. Yeah, he's a very filial son. Mm. So I always believe in this. Like, if someone is filial, he cannot be that bad after all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> compromise lah. You accept yes. my children, I accept your folks lah. Okay, your yes. parents lah. Then we stay together. Okay. Yeah. Then no issue. Okay, we get married lor. He is a super super thrifty man. One year, you only buy three shirts, plain one, like seven ninety. I say round neck also nice, what? The one lah, nine ninety. 